Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome back to the German Reich. We're getting ready for a war with Poland, who is guaranteed by Great Britain. Oh no, he's not guaranteed by anybody. <laughs> oh, well then, if you're not guaranteed, that might be an easy, easy war. In any case, Rommel is over here kicking some Chinese butt. That's his job in life. Some people were born to be teachers or doctors or scientists. Rommel, Rommel was born to kick butt. Like, that's in his job description. What do you do? I kick ass. Stop canceling. Oh, damn it. Every time I tell them to move, the uh, Rommel dude gives them a new order and it cancels all of their organization. I would love to finish off this dude in Ninbo, but eh, whatever. But yeah, last time we annexed Czechoslovakia and we released Slovakia as a puppet and we gave Carpathian, uh, Ruthenian Carpathia to Hungary. So he should be happy about that, right? Yeah, first Vienna Award, plus 10. Nice. Check Sweden and Finland? Okay. Oh, hey, Finland has gone nationalist. Good job, Finland. Finland is now fascist, and Sweden is at 41%. Ooh, yeah, he's got fascist revolutionaries, so he should flip soon. Aw, oh, Finland, you're the best. I could guarantee him. Yeah, let's guarantee Finland. Guaranteeing the independence of nationalist Finland means you will declare a war on any country that attacks it. Currently guarantee zero nations. Okay. The reason I'm doing that is because Russia might attack them. Hey, hey, new infantry equipment. Uh, is it time for weapons too? Not quite, not quite. Is there anything I want right now? Not really. I guess we get some more airplane tactics. Uh, let's get decryption. goes encryption. It's tempting to get uh, construction going, but we're a quarter of a year ahead, so it's probably a bad idea. Let's get radio. Finish off this damn pocket. I'm sick of it. Hey, military police is done. All right, might as well. Now we have this pocket under control, I think. Took a while, didn't it? How's Japan's push look? He's getting there. He's still stuck at this river. Oh, neat, he got Guangzhou. Nice! He must have done a naval invasion there. Mm, 
No, not that way. This way. We're currently working on getting claims on Poland. Come on, Rommel. Yes, we got an Inbo. Good. Good. Well, this guy's holding out for dear life. There we go. Okay, good job, Rommel. Yeah, do we have extra weapons for you, Japan? Yeah, we got some weapons for you. Oh, it's too many, huh? Still too many. There we go. guys are dead. Wreck him. Wreck him, Rommel. It's time to play Wreck him, Rommel. Four days until support weapons three. Very good. And I think we're just going to have to start on an early 1939 research because we're kind of out of things to research. That's a great place to be, by the way. Being out of things to research is nuts. There we go. Support weapons two. Weapons two. Yeah, let's just get started on concentrated industry. It's only a couple months early. It's not a big deal. There we go. Okay, Rommel has run out of tasks. And we're we're not exactly at Chongqing, are we? All right, let's make a new border. I want you here. And I want you to push this way. Okay. And then I want you to push right click and drag to draw the offensive line in this territory. Escape while drawing to cancel. Tab while drawing to cycle connections. Tab. Cycle. All right. We are back after the crash. Looks like we lost about Three weeks of time. It's not a big deal. It auto saves every month, I think. Oh, yeah, we're still dealing with this pocket. Ew. Come on, Rommel, finish it up again. I guess I'll throw it on speed five because we've already seen this.
All right, are you ready? Are you ready, Rommel? I think Rommel's ready. Do it, Rommel. Crush him. Again. All right, support weapons too. I wonder what caused the game to crash. I don't know. didn't crash this time. Good. Okay, Rommel. Here's your new front line. Why are you only in the one tile? It doesn't make sense. Let's try that again. Hey, radio detection is done. Ah, what do we want to work on now? Might as well get uh, advanced machine tools. And we're out of oil. Shit. Speaking of being out of oil, Twitch chat was asking, why aren't you building synthetic refineries? I think that's a good point. We should definitely get some synthetic refineries going. And by some, I mean a lot. Okay. And let's put them at the top of the queue. And the reason we want to do this is because we're not going to be able to trade with a lot of nations if we're at war with them. Right? Oh, there we go. Great Britain just guaranteed Poland. Well, I was looking at them like, why haven't you guaranteed Poland? And then they did. Fair enough, Great Britain. Fair enough. Oh, did I only have two units selected? Oh, you're right. Actually, it looks like we can avoid the river if we go this way. We can sneak through here. There's no river crossing through there. That's actually really cool. Uh, let's change that up then. Let's do that. Man, there's a lot of troops there, though. It might be easy. Oh, there's ar they've already crossed the river up here. All right, never mind. Perfect. All right, as far as drawing more. Tab while cycling connections. Tab is what crashed the game, I think. Oh, there we go. There we go. I didn't know you could do that. That's so good. Look at that. Oh, boy. I didn't know you could do that. That is fantastic. And we can drag this, right? Alt to drag. There we go. That is just beautiful. And it shows their plan of attack for each stage. Look at that. Okay, I'll let you study that plan for a while. <laughs> 
Meanwhile, hey, we got our claims. Got our claims on Poland. Alright, and we also get a claim on Memel. So the next step, I have to decide if I want to split up Poland with Russia. This is an important decision. If we split up Poland with Russia, then we'll lose Eastern Poland, but we'll gain a non-aggression pact with them for two years, which will allow us to fight France and Britain and stuff without having to face Russia at the same time. I think it's worth doing. Hey, Lithuania just gave us Memel. The Lithuanian government has agreed to our demands. And Memel will be incorporated back into East Prussia. That's uh, this province right there. Nice. Very nice. I can't build anything there, though. Whatever. It's nice that, the, that we have it again. All right, how, how's preparation looking, Rommel? Oh, he's got a lot of preparation to do. The German Reich claims Memel. With German forces on their border poised to attack, Lithuania has given in to a German ultimatum demanding the surrender of the old Prussian territory of Memel. It was passed to Lithuania by the Treaty of Versailles, but has now been reintegrated into the region of Ostprussen. Have we yet reached the extent of German territorial ambitions in Europe? Experts are doubtful. Germans un everywhere must be united. Yes, even the Germans in the USA must be united. Right? Okay, modify the government. Let's see, we currently have military construction speed, civilian construction speed. Anything else that we want for construction speed? Anti-air construction would probably be pretty good. Yeah. In fact, we should queue up some anti-air. Because we're going to need it. Let's see, where's our air... Okay, so everything in Western Germany. Let's do that. And the Alpines. Okay. Now that's going to take a long time to build. Anti-air is... Yeah, 2,500. It's a lot of work. So I'm going to put the civilian stuff at the bottom, 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 bottom. Okay, so we're working on our synthetic oil factories right now. How's the plan look, Mr. Rommel? Ah, his plan looks good. Do it. He's confident. Some divisions are not in position. Uh, are you sure they're not in position? Division still preparing. No, they look like you have fully prepared, my friend. How, how can you still be preparing? 48%, I see. All right, just do it. Go get them, Rommel. I did not know you could chain these things together. That looks amazing. taking Wuhan. Nice. That wasn't part of my plan, dude, but sure, why not? I think China's just falling apart here. They're running out of they're running out of regiments, really. Oh, I say that and there's a stack of 19 guys there. Ugh.
Wow, this attack. This is rough. They have a lot of defenders here. Ten divisions. Level seven general. Oof. All right, how's our front look? We're still building up troops on the uh, Dutch front. Troops on the French front are fine. Troops on the Polish front are fine. Okay, decryption level one, very good. And it's now 1939, so let's find some nice 1939 tech. Weapons 2 sounds good. There's uh, Engineer 2. Mechanics 2. Yeah, let's get Engineer 2. That's pretty important. And it doesn't require building anything. It's just a straight upgrade. We're running out of guns, aren't we? Always running out of something. How's your fascist fascism going here, Sweden? 44% fascist. Alright, the Molotov Ribbon Molotov Ribbentrop Pact. And now we can use you Army Innovations 2, which will give us some discounts on the Panzer IV. Or we can do Danziger War. I think we're going to do Danziger War. I think it's time. We could also uh, demand Slovenia from Yugoslavia. I'm trying to think if I should do that before I go to war with Poland. There's no real penalty for it, so sure, why not? Who's this? Hey, Bulgaria wants to join the Axis. And Moscow signs the pact. The Soviet Union has wisely agreed to our non-aggression pact. This means that we are free to go to war without risk of Soviet intervention. And France has banned communism. Hey, Bulgaria. You're not even fascist, and he wants to join the pact. Sure, come on in. Bulgaria has joined the Axis. Battle plans with no units assigned. Really? Six divisions? Six divisions? No divisions. Oh, I thought they would all be assigned to this. I don't know how that happened. The rest of it's fine, though. Still haven't taken Changsha, damn. We did get Wuhan, but still not Changsha. What about Franco in Spain? Uh, he is fascist, but he won't join our faction because he's, he's still recovering from his civil war, which means he can't really join a faction right now. Uh-oh, we have reached the point of low manpower, meaning we're going to have to uh, change our policies to get more recruitable soldiers. How many brigades do we have now? How many divisions? 121. All right, I'll keep building up. At some point, we're going to stop building new divisions. Just rely on the ones that we have on the map. And that'll that'll help stop the, uh, the loss of manpower. We're not really losing much over here. These tanks aren't taking much damage because the Chinese don't really have weapons that can that can hurt the tanks. All right, so we should change our policy from limited conscription to extensive conscription. And this makes training time last a little longer, but it gives us 2.5% more recruitable population. 
And we just gained 2 million manpower. Hooray! Direct ground support. Okay. Are there any airplanes we can research this year? Not really. Ah, here we go. Construction three. 